I'm going to jump back to our primary lecture, but before I do, if you have any questions about the difference between print and web resolution and the importance of it and the effect it has on file size and image quality, um, make sure that you ask questions. Ask your teacher, ask your peers when you submit your project, list the questions that you have, attend online office hours, ask questions in class. Whoever you're taking this class, make sure you ask questions because the idea or the concept of resolution, image size, image quality, is one of the most important things that we can instill in you in this art 1280 class. Okay, moving along. Um, new for this semester, uh, this lecture, or it has a, a regenerated importance in this lecture, is the image size dialog box. And so I'd like to talk about that a little bit and talk about some things that are important. So the image size dialog is a box that displays all the pixel information, including pixel count and resolution that we talked about earlier in the lecture. It also shows the document size in kilobytes or megabytes. Um, this box also displays the image sizes by width and height. The, the dimensions can be viewed in a variety of ways depending on your need or needs. Um, and the view options are by percent, pixels, inches, centimeters, millimeters, points, pikas, and columns. And so that's a lot of information. And so we want to kind of streamline that and talk about what's important about those settings. And so um, the most important part of the image size dialog box is the resample option, and here's why. When the resample box is checked, this means you are allowing Photoshop to change the pixel information. And so if I go back for a second, you can see here in this example that it's telling you the pixel dimensions of the image are 3,659 pixels across and 5,214 pixels tall. And if you can't see that, you'll trust me that I just read that properly. And so if I choose to resample, it will change the number of pixels in the image, and so I might end up with more or less than that number of pixels. It's important that when you are adjusting the size or the resolution of your image, you're doing so purposefully. And as a general rule, you do not want to resample unless you're doing so because you're doing it for a very specific reason. And if you don't understand resampling and you don't know what it's going to do or what it's not going to do, just don't check it. Never check the resample checks box because it's going to change the data in in the baseline of your image. And so if you, um, if you resample or you change the information on the image size dialog box with the resample box selected, um, if, you make the, if you make the image bigger by width, height, resolution, Photoshop will upscale or upsample and add pixels to your image. This may produce a quality that's not so great. And so what will happen is You'll tell, the, you'll tell the image size dialog box something very specific, like I have this image and it's 5 inches by 7 inches, but I would like it to be 10 inches by 14 inches. And if you resample and you say, instead of being um, 5 inches wide, I want you to be 10 inches wide, Photoshop will say, well that's cool, we'll make it 10 inches wide, and I'll make up all the pixels that you need in order for that, pixel, that image to be 10 inches wide at your particular resolution. When it makes up those new pixels to make the, the image size meet your requirement. It's called upscaling, or I call it upsampling, this is my preferred term. And what it did was it just made up pixels. It was like, oh, you need pixels? We'll just make them up. Kind of like fairy dust, and it sprinkles it over the image. You don't know if that, that upsampling, the resampling of the image by adding new pixels, is going to have good quality or not. And a lot of the times when you upsample, you're getting more pixels, so you can say, yes, I have the number of pixels that I need for my image but it has very low quality because the image is still pixelated and blurry because Photoshop didn't know if you need an orange pixel or a light orange pixel or a dark orange pixel. It just tried to make them up for you and it may or may not have done a great job. If you make the image smaller by width, height, or resolution, Photoshop will downsample the image, which is the throwing away or the deletion of pixels. And as I said earlier, if I had to choose, if I had to do upsampling versus downsampling, I would downsample 100 times out of 100 because when you downsample, you're not creating new pixels out of thin air. If anything, you're just kind of saying, well, this pixel is green and the pixel in the middle is green and the pixel on the other side is green, so I'm going to throw out the pixel in the middle because they're all the same color. And so Photoshop will go through your image and it will kind of throw out some of the pixels so that you can downsample and make the image smaller in either height, width, or resolution. Another thing that's important about resampling or when you have the resample checkbox selected is that whatever changes you make will be a permanent change to the pixel information in the image. And so if you adjust the size of the image, let's say 
5 by 7, you make it 10 by 14, you double the size, and you say, go ahead, make up all these pixels. You're making a permanent change to the image. As soon as you hit OK and you start editing again, there's no going back and saying, you know what, I didn't, I probably should not have done that. I probably should have gone back and said, this image cannot be used as 10 by 14 because it just doesn't have enough pixels. You can't go back and say, well, keep all those changes that I made and then make the image smaller again. You have to like delete the image you're working on, open it up the original again and start working from scratch. So keep that in mind. What I would recommend and what goes along with the last line on this slide is that when the resample box is not checked, all the pixel information will be locked. It won't change. And so when you change the width, the height, and the resolution, all of those values will change, but the number of pixels in your image will not. And so as a general rule, do not resample unless you're doing so on purpose. And so you can see in these slideshow in the in the screenshots here that on the left I've opened up this image of the puppy and it has 5,040 pixels across and it's 7,182 pixels tall which is lots of pixels it's a great size image to work in if you're trying to output or print a large picture um, it also tells me that the size of the image is 14 inches across and it is 19.95 inches tall now if I was to change any of these values, the width, the height, or the resolution, and I have the resample checkbox selected. So now let's look at the second image. And I decide that I don't want the width of the image to be 14. I want it to be three inches across. I can change that and it will resample the image. And so now the number of pixels in the image has changed. It's 1,080 pixels across by 1,539 pixels tall. And so when I'm resampling, it allows the number of pixels to change. And what I would like you to do is, I don't want you to change the number of pixels. I want you to, to resample the image in the sense that you change the resolution from 360 to 72, or from 72 to 150, or whatever your needs are. And use the, the image size dialog box to answer the question, well, what size could it be at my particular resolution? When you are resampling and you do not select the resample, look at the differences in all of these images. So the image has been resampled in the sense that the resolution has changed from 72 to 240 to 300 resolution. And width and height of the image in inches has changed. And so when I look at this image in 72 resolution, which would be display resolution, I could output it at 50. 0.819 by 72.417 inches, which is ginormous, way more than I need. But notice that the number of pixels in the image, 3,659 by 5,214, it's set. They're the number of pixels that I have to work with. If I change the resolution to 240 and say, well, now I'm not going to display that on the web. I'm going to print that on a photo inkjet printer in the classroom. And so I want to ask myself the question, how big could I print this if I wanted to? at my desired output resolution, which for the inkjet printers in our classroom is 240 resolution. And so with the resample checkbox not selected, and I change the resolution to 240, the number of pixels stayed the same. I still have 3,659 pixels across and 5,214 pixels tall. But now the width and height has changed. And so instead of being able to display this as 50 inches across and 72 inches tall, I could print this at 15.246 inches by 21.725 inches, which is a lot smaller because I'm squeezing those pixels together. Every one inch of the image has 240 pixels across and 240 pixels tall. But in order to have a quality output image, that's what I need for that particular output. Let's do it one more time. If I take the image and now I say that I need 300 resolution, Maybe instead of outputting this on a photo inkjet printer in our lab, I'm going to send it to a commercial offset lithography printer, and they want the image to be 300 resolution. And so if I change the image to 300 resolution, again, the pixels stay the same because I'm not resampling. Resampling is the changing of the number of pixels in the image. And so what it does is it redistributes the pixels. And for 300 resolution, every one inch of the image has 300 pixels across and 300 pixels tall. And so if I wanted to know the biggest that I could output this image at 300 resolution, meaning I want to print it, I could print this image as 12.197 by 17.38 inches tall. It's incredibly important to know this. And so never use the resample checkbox because what will happen is just like in this example, the number of pixels in your image will change. 
And down sampling, not so bad, but up sampling, it's, it's bad practice and you shouldn't get in the habit of doing that.